Hello, this is Kenshin1913, and we're Let's Playing Dragon Quest 7. Dragon Warrior 7. In the last episode, we got a shard from the present Rexwood. Now we're here in the color mines in the present, and look at that. There's a shard right there. Nice. Another fire shard we have picked up. Now let's get back to the castle, see if they have anything... You know, if the mission is over, or the meeting, I mean. But let's check these other areas out before we do. Um, let's see, let's go this way first. Anything? Ah, oh, nothing. What the frick? Alright, let's try the next one. Let's go west. Go west, young man, go west. There's, I think that's, that's something. It's called Sayuki or something like that. Anyways, nothing there either. And finally, anything on the south end of town? Anything? Come on. Don't make this worth my waste. Oh, come on. Anyways, I'll meet you outside. Alright, let's go back to Estard and see if the meeting is over. Is the meeting over? Come on, meeting, be over. Yay, we explored a new thingamabob. A new, uh, what's it called? Thing. But yeah, you have to talk to this guard to... To, to get back to... The, well, I don't know if you have to talk to this guard to get back in the castle, but everyone's surprised. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I'm so surprised they won't let you in into the... Into the... The meeting. I mean, you're, you're supposed to be king soon, or eventually, and you'd figure they'd give you some, res you know, have you be responsible or something. So, now that you have Kiefer in your group, you can go back into the castle. Well, if it isn't Prince Kiefer, you're such a boy. You're such a boy. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, he's a man. I think he's supposed to be 18 or something. Or 16 or something. Teen. He's a teenager. He's a little older than you. Or the hero. Yep. An old man barged out of the throne room because he's old. Yeah. Wonder what it could have been. Oh. Hey. That guy's not an eccentric old creep. He's just some weird old man. Um, now that you say it, he, I think he is an eccentric old creep. Oh, yeah. He was angry. I wonder what he was angry about. But yeah, Kiefer, if they give you no responsibilities, how are you going to become a king? I mean... But yeah, we're going to keep that room... You keep that room clean, maid, because it's Kiefer's room. And you still won't let us in, huh? Well, let's see if we can find that old man. Yep, Amet and Baron... Uh, I was about to call him Barongo. Uh, Bronico are up there and s with King Burns. So let's see if we can find said old man, or even... What's his name? Sister. Yeah, it couldn't... It wasn't there when I talked to you earlier. And here's... This is actually Lisa's room, I think. So she does have her own room, I believe. Yeah. We wanted to join the expedition party, but no go. You don't want to be king. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be a great king someday. See? Yeah. Um, why is that, Kiefer? So yeah, uh, that, that, you didn't have to talk to her, but I like, I would like uh, everyone to get some sort of, you know, a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a, like some development between Kiefer and his sister. You know what I mean? Because you don't. You don't really get that that much in this, you know, if you don't talk to her and, you know. Actually, her, his, her sister isn't, like, really that big of a character, but it's nice to see the interactions between brother and sister and stuff like that. So, let's see if we can go find the oldie McOldson and, uh, have a chit-chat with him about stuff. And maybe...
is back at his house, so let's check it. Let's check it out. But, yeah, uh... Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, you wanna, you know, cause I wanna see if I can, you know... What, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have lost the words too, Kiefer. But, uh, no, I was... Like, like, you know, get more development in the characters. That's, that's why I talked with, uh, the sister as well. I mean, you don't have to, again... You really don't have to talk to anyone in this game. You know, in order to progress the story. But you might as well get, like, the fl cool flavor. So where, if that old man is at his house, where the frig is he? He must be in the castle somewhere. Uh, let's see. He went storming off. Okay, let, well, let's check. You know what, let's check that area I haven't checked yet. Not down here. Nope. But, yeah, what else was I gonna say? You people are no help. Hmm. Uh, I really got nothing else to say. Yeah, but this game's full of, uh, full of character, all different kinds of characters that are, like, kind of interesting to talk to, you know? This game's, you know, some people said this game isn't that good, but due to the fact that it's, like, long and... Well, I mean, this was this was the next game after Dragon Quest IV, you know, from in America. So I can understand, you know, people being like, "What the hell is this? This is like a huge departure from IV." But yeah. Oh, here's where the old man is. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's this old. You're you're calling yourself a sage now. Sure, we can do so. All right, let's uh, yeah, let him pass, cause he's a he's a cool dude. He's a real cool dude. I think I think when I played this game originally. I had like way over like a hundred and I know I know it was like a hundred and twenty hours into this game, and you'll find out why later. There's there's a point in the game where it's gonna be like, hey, yeah. So these two old men are talking about. Well, the old man on the left is or on the right wants us to go get some it it. Because they know each other. Uh-huh. We want, yeah, the new lands that have recently appeared. Yeah. Well, actually, just the land. And now we're going to tell them everything. Because that's what we do. So we're looking for more shards so we can have more adventuring. Maybe unlock some other lands or something. I don't know. So yeah, now we're going to be able to explore the part of Istard Castle we couldn't explore before. So that's pretty cool. And that's actually where we have to go. To the doors underneath Lisa's balcony thing. Let's talk to this guy. Yes, I did. But yeah, uh, he, I remember what I was going to say now. Oh, look at that painting. Oh, look at that. Here's a map of a bunch of little worlds. Oh, so that's what the world used to look like, maybe. With that map. So let's talk to this guy. But yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, there was a couple of days ago, or when you see this, it might be almost a week, uh, um, there was like a bonus marathon, a marathon going of the Dragon Quest games, and I heard that that the uh, the guy who played this game didn't get very far. He ended up falling asleep playing the game. That's kind of... Well, it is a massive game, so... I don't know how they could have thought they would beat all of them in three days. It's just... They're just a lot. 
there's so much. Oh, and we're behind the, the dining room now. Yeah, like, I guess the guy who played this, or the guy who played this game also played the second one and had a lot of trouble doing it. And, uh, slowed him down. Slowed down the whole thing considerably. But yeah, every, every game was beaten besides, uh, 7, 8, and I think 4, because Valus fell asleep. And so now let's look around this place. Hmm. What can we look at? Let's look at this bookshelf one more time. And it looks like it can be moved. Fancy. This is all like a secret passage. Anyways, we got a new shard and I'll have to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.